Hey guys, all right. This recording is for examples five, six, and seven, okay, of section um, 6.2. So here we go. Before I start, I'm going to tell you a, uh, a toddler joke. Are you ready? Um, let's see what joke should we start. What is always, okay, what is always hot in the refrigerator? What is always hot? in your refrigerator or in a refrigerator chili chili because chili is always spicy like right? hot spicy haha -ha. all right that is your toddler joke for this video all right example five find the exact value exact value class means calculator or non-calculator exact value means no calculator, okay? Now, it said sine of 45 degrees times tangent of 45 degrees. Sine of 45 degrees, by now, hopefully you know that's radical 2 over 2. Times tangent of 45 degrees is now 1, okay? Because tangent, it's always sine divided by cosine. Sine of 45 degrees is rad 2 over 2. Cosine of 45, it's also rad 2 over 2. So when you have two identical numbers dividing, you get 1. So sine of 45 is rad 2 over 2. Tangent 45 is 1. So when you multiply them, it equals to rad 2 over 2. Okay? Now, secant of pi over 4. Now, keep in mind that secant, cotangent, cosecant are just simply reciprocal. Okay? So cotangent of pi over 4 is a reciprocal of tangent of pi over 4, okay? And if you know what tangent of pi over 4 is, tangent of pi over 4, pi over 4, by the way, it's radiant of 45 degrees. So tangent of pi over 4 is 1. So 1 divided by 1 is 1. So what that means is cotangent of pi over 4 is 1, okay? And right now, I know you are not as quick with these angles yet, which is okay, okay? Um, soon, soon enough, you're gonna have to be like, change it 45, tangent of 45, one, sine of 45, right two over two, okay? And so on and so on, super quick. Now we're gonna talk about secant of pi over four. Secant of pi over four is going to be reciprocal of cosine of pi over four, okay? Well, I know that cosine of pi over four is right two over two. So what that means is when you're dividing a fraction by 1, you are just simply flipping it. So it's really 2 over rad 2. I can't have 2 over rad 2, so you have to rationalize it by multiplying both top and bottom by rad 2. So you now have 2 rad 2 over 2, which reduces down to just rad 2. So secant of pi over 4, it's just rad, rad 2. What we are doing now is we're going to take them and we're going to multiply them together. So, secant of pi over 4 is rad 2, cotangent of pi over 4 is 1. So my final answer is radical 2. All of that, yes, no count, okay? Next, we are going to talk about secant of 2 pi. 2 pi is a full circle, okay? So right here. Now let's talk about this. This is a quadrant angle. The order pair of this is 1, 0. Secant secant of 2 pi is exactly the same as 1 divided by cosine of 2 pi, okay? Cosine of 2 pi on a unit circle is 1, okay? So cosine 2 pi is 1. Well, 1 divided by 1 is just simply 1. So what's happening is secant of 2 pi is 1, okay? Then you're going to talk about cosecant of pi over 3. And again, cosecant of pi over 3 is exactly the same as 1 over sine of pi over 3. Okay. Remember, pi over 3 is 60 degrees. So if you remember from filling out your table, sine of 60 degrees is what? Can you look at your table really quickly and tell me? Sine of pi over 3. Can you tell me what ratio that is, please? Because I need to fill it right here on the bottom. Sine of pi over 3. Did you say radical 3 divided by 2? Then you are correct. When you are going to flip that, it's going to be 2 over rad 3, which I can't have rad 3, so what you're going to do is you're going to rationalize this, 
Okay, that's 2 rad 3 over 3. That's cosecant of pi over 3. So what do you do with the two values? Now you have to take them and subtract them. Are you ready? Secant of 2 pi is 1 minus 2 rad 3 over 3. Well, I'm going to make a 1 into a denominator of 1. I can't have different denominator when you're subtracting. So what you're going to do is you multiply this by 3. What you multiply to the bottom, you're multiplying to the top. So we have 3 over 3 minus 2 rad 3 all over 3. Well, now the denominator is the same. I'm just going to put the numerator together. So that's really 3 minus 2 rad 3 all over 3. And that is the final, final answer you can do without a calculator. Okay? Last question in example 5. First, it says cos 3 times cosecant of 2 pi over 3 plus cotangent of 3 pi over 4. What you need to know is where on earth is 2 pi over 3, okay? And then you can multiply the 3. So 3 times something. Well, let's talk about this something. Cosecant of 2 pi over 3, which is the same as 1 over sine of 2 pi over 3, okay? Now keep in mind, where is... 2 pi over 3. 2 pi over 3 is 60 degrees. So 2 pi over 3 means you have 2 of 60, which is your quadrant number. Number what? Number 2. Okay. Sine in quad 2 is going to be positive because sine correlates to the y value of the order pair if you put it in the unit circle. Okay. So sine is y. So in quad 2, y is positive. Well, positive value of what? Okay. Well, sine, remember, a pi over 2, sine of pi over 2, that's sine of 60 degrees. Sine of 60 degrees is it going to be radical 3 over 2. I have two of those, okay? It doesn't really matter, by the way, if you have 1 or 2. It's still going to be the same thing, okay? So it's 1 over radical 3 over 2, okay? So sine of 2 pi over 3 and sine of pi over 3 are exactly the same ratio, okay? When I flip this, just like what I did over here already. See this right here? Right, see this? Those two are the same, right? So when I flip them, I'm just going to get what I already did over here. 2 radical 3 over 3, okay? Now, different quadrants is just going to tell you positive or negative. So cosecant and sine of quadrant 1 and 2 will always give you the same ratio. So this is what cosecant... Oops, why am I... Why, why did I do that? I meant to highlight... Cosecant of 2 pi over 3 is 2 rad 3 divided by 3. Now let's talk about um, cotangent of 3 pi over 4, okay? Let's get a different color. Cotangent of 3 pi over 4. Well, cotangent is going to be 1 over tangent of 3 pi over 4. That's one way to think of it. Or you can even go, well, it's really cosine of 3 over 4 divided by sine of 3 over 4. That's another way of thinking about it, okay? Well, let's figure out where pi over 4 is. Remember, pi over 4 is, 1 pi over 4 is 45 degrees. I have three of those. So 1, 45, 2, 45, and then 3, 45. You are in quadrant number 2. Then you have to decide. In quad 2, is cotangent positive or negative, okay? In quad 2, cosine is negative and sine is positive. So a negative divided by positive is now a negative. So whatever angle you get, is, whatever ratio you get, is going to be a negative. Well, cotangent of 1 pi over 4 is just going to be 1, okay? But you're in quad 2, so now cotangent of 3 pi over 4 is going to be negative 1. So that's what you have right there. So now I'm just going to fill it all in. Are you ready? 3 times 2 radical 3 over 3. Take away, or just add, add, cotangent of 3 pi over 4. Cotangent of 3 pi over 4 is now negative 1. I'm going to have to see if I can simplify this, okay? Looks like these three can reduce. So now you're going to end up with this right here. See that right there? 2 radical 3 minus 1, and that's a final answer, okay? That's as far as you can go without requiring a calculator, okay? 
Now, number six, it says use a calculator. So now this is where I'm going to have to use a calculator. Are you ready? Cosine of 48 degrees. Let me see if I can find the calculator on this thing. I haven't used a calculator. Zero one calculator. Ooh. All right, let's see if it works. Okay. Oh, it has cosine. Okay. And mine degrees. Let's hit degrees. Nope, that says radiant. Okay, degrees. Okay, so let's go to degrees. There you go. It says cosine. 48. So now this calculator is kind of weird. I think I just type in 48 and then do cosine. Mm, that is in, I believe. Let's see. All right, so that is going to be 0. 0.6. How many decimal does it want us to round? Let me go back and check. What's the rounding like? Did they want us to do two decimal places? Okay, so if you are using your calculator do you know how to change from degrees to radians because this problem has bubbles okay if it's a bubble you want to change your mode to degrees okay class now you have to know exactly when to change to what because i'm not going to tell you on a test when to do what so because you see a bubble what that means is hey mode degrees okay so I will change my calculator to degrees, just like what we just mentioned, okay? So if I change to degrees, two decimal places is 0.67, okay? So cosine of 48 degrees is 0.67. So let's write that down, and point or 0 0.67, how about that? Okay. Uh, B is also in degrees, so keep your mode in degrees, so bubble means degree then it doesn't have it cosecant okay so what that means is you need to punch in one divided by sine of 21 degrees so let's do that first okay so this one is going to do 21 and then sine so that's what i have and then i have to take one divided by that so one divided by answer which is that one equals do they give me what I wanted? I have, did they give me what I wanted? One divided by sine of 21 degrees? Let's double check. Let's do that again. 20, clear. Maybe I need to clear. Sorry, I'm not used to using clear all. Okay, clear. 21, right? Sine. 0. 0.35836 and so on. And then 1 divided by. Can I do second answer somehow, like that one? Hit enter. <gasps> Yay, okay, it worked, right? Are they, or is it exactly the same? It's giving me the same exact thing, so I don't think I did it right. Okay, maybe let's do this. One divided by, open parentheses, 21 sign, maybe like that will work. Close it, equals. There you go. I think that worked out probably better. What do you think? That gave me, yeah, so look at, so if you look at the top right-hand corner, I think I did it correctly. So that's gonna be, right? So that will give me uh, 2.79 if I'm round to two decimal places. So let's go back to, ooh, wee, that was weird. Okay, so let's go back and write 2.79. Okay. Now, this one is, C is interesting. Did you see any bubble on there? This is in radiance. Okay, so make sure your mode is now in radiance. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my calculator over here. Change my mode to radiance. Okay, and I forgot the question. What was the question? Tangent of pi divided by 12. Remember, do not, again, do not punch in 3.14 for pi. You should have a pi button in there. So, oops, I want the calculator, my bad. So, let's go to calculator. Pi, let's see, this calculator, pi. Oops, cleared out, okay. Pi divided by 12 equals whatever that is. And now I'm gonna hit tangent. Do you see my tangent? Tangent of that answer, okay. So which is, let's see, hit enter. Okay, uh, did I do it right? Let me double check my top. Uh, that doesn't seem right. 
Let's try it again. I think let's clear it up. Let's do pi. How about this? Tangent. Would it give me that? Pi divided by 12. Can you give me that? I'm not used to this calculator, guys, so make sure I'm in radians, right? So let's see. Tangent of pi divided by 12. I'm going to double check. So I should have a 0.26. I think I came up with 0.26 at some point. Let's see. Pi divided by 12, whatever that decimals is. Hit tangent. Okay, look, I got it. So 0.2679, but I want to round to two decimal places. So 0.27, okay? 0.27 is my final answer in radians. All right. So, ooh, so 0.27, it's in radians, okay? That's it. So if you see a bubble, your mode has to be in degrees. If you see no bubbles, your mode has to be in radians. So that's the difference. Last problem in 6.2. F of theta is sine of theta. Okay, so they give you two functions, an F function and a G function. Find the exact value if theta is 30 degrees. Do you not use a calculator? So all it's really saying is every time you see a theta, you plug in 30. And since this is f of theta, I'm really using sine of theta. Sine of theta, plug in 30 degrees because this theta is 30 degrees. And without a calculator, this is going to be 1 half. Okay? Yes, when you're getting used to this, you're going to be able to spit out an answer just like that. G of negative theta, well, G is just cosine. Okay, plug in negative theta. No big deal at all, which is cosine of a negative 30 degrees. Negative 30 degrees just means you're going to go clockwise, okay? So here's negative 30 degrees. But the reference angle is still, reference angle is still 30 degrees, okay? So you're in quad 4. Cosine will be, would definitely be positive. Cosine in quad 1 and quad 4 are both positive, okay? So the beautiful thing is, Cosine of a negative 30 degree class is the same as, guess what, cosine of 30 degrees, okay? Yes, that will always be true, okay? Cosine of a negative angle is the same as cosine of a positive angle, always true. Well, cosine of 30 degrees is not the same as sine of 30 degrees. It's just simply radical 3 over 2, okay? Now, next, g of some theta and then square. Well, g is talking about cosine of theta and square it, okay? Well, cosine theta in this problem is 30 degrees and then square it, okay? When you see the square outside class, some books will, actually our book as well, in trig, we write it like that, okay? So cosine 30 degrees, square on the outside is the same thing as cosine square of 30. What that means is you have to find cosine of 30 first, Cosine of 30 is already found in, quad, in part B, which is positive radical 3 divided by 2. And then you need to square that. Radical 3 squared is 3. 2 squared is 4. So the final answer is 3 over 4. Okay? And that is the final piece of today's lecture. Until next time, bye-bye. Yeah.